many people they are afraid of doubting but doubt whenever it arises in the heart it's a signal it's a warning it's a very subtle warning it's a protective mechanism i would like to say and what to follow or what not to follow at that moment no school can teach you that or no parents can teach you that see because life throws us all kinds of curved balls in front of us if you are playing cricket it's very difficult to play spinners because you don't know in which direction it will spin life's problems are also like worse perhaps worse than those spinning balls in the cricket field i like to share a story with you there was a very renowned thief in one small village he was very famous and he was so famous and so i would say he earned his reputation as a thief so much that his own daughter was impressed and said papa i would like to become a perfect thief like you so she her hero was father who was a thief anyway for many years father kept on avoiding that why should i teach her all these things and who can teach such a trade of thievery One day, he said, okay, let's go. I will teach you. He said, first, recognize a village that is very prosperous. Second, find out which is the house which is the most prosperous. Then, find out the movement of that house, when it remains closed and open, etc. When do they go to sleep, when do they wake up. They studied very thoroughly. then father takes her inside one night at an appropriate time it was night dark pitch dark and they go to that chamber where there was a what we call a security vault somehow father seeing the expertise of his daughter said okay now you open the security she opens it and then father was very mischievous wanted to try how good she is so he tripped the security alarm system and woke up the whole family and he himself ran away leaving his daughter in that chamber she was trapped there he jumped out very laughingly she's waiting to see how my daughter can now protect herself all the maids servants the family members with running to that chamber she who has tripped this alarm and they see there is a thief there a girl she sneaks out very fast but people are running after her what happens then is very miraculous she changes her dress into one of those maids dress and walks out very comfortably out of the house and then she misdirects that oh i saw the thief going that way and she makes her way the different direction and then where she sees the boulder and a well she throws a boulder into the well making a sound as if somebody has fallen into that well so people start wondering at night you know those who are searching for the thief oh this thief has fallen now into the well we'll see what happens in the morning this thief's daughter was on a tree branch and then when everything quietens down she slowly goes home and bits of her father cursing him with so many words 
Why did you leave me there? Why did you trip this alarm? Father says, my dear, don't, don't be so mad on me. You wanted to learn, so I taught you. I thought how professional you are, but one day you will surpass me. It was like a blessing from a father, you see. He says, all these things, who can teach you what to do, when to do? Because you don't, I never taught you all these things, but your awareness, your presence of mind decided things at the last moment. When you actually entered the world of business, whether you are working for someone or you make your own decisions to run your own business, what will guide you at each level is the clarity of your mind, and the clarity of your mind comes only from the heart. Heart gives the first signal whether to do it or not to do it. When you grow up at a marriageable age also, and when you find your future spouse, then to use your heart. Don't be mesmerized by their what they possess, but look into your heart and find out whether this person is suitable or not. Such things are not paid attention to before marriage. Parents generally see the glitter of the another family. That's all they see. They don't see more than that. At the most, they'll go to an astrologer and meet match the Kundalini and etc. But what about the happiness of the heart? So, don't be prevailed upon by your parents, follow your heart. Because parents themselves, you can see their condition. You know how your parents are, right? See what they have found for the, each other. And what they are going to find for you also. It will be a wonderful thing. Anyway, so, how to decide, what to decide, it all depends on the level of awareness that we all carry within us, how prejudiced we are, how conditioned we are to various situations. Most people make decisions based on the conditions, the previous exposure, previous conditioning. Our Sastras, we say, hit some scars are like that, that's why this person is behaving like that. So, heartfulness practice teaches us how to go beyond the sanskars, how to clean our heart so that we get the right signals from within. So, you become your own guide in a way. There are no guides outside, there are no masters outside. Real Master is within all of us. Thank you.